Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It is going to be my final empties of 2018. I'm pre-filming a little bit, just to get ahead of schedule, but I'm fairly confident this is still gonna go up in 2018. <laughs> Let's hope so. Uh, but I'm pretty excited because I feel like I have a lot of trash here. A lot of times when I do my empties, I try to do these every month. I typically work in some sort of declutter, like I'm decluttering a minor part of my collection that maybe isn't like interesting enough for a full declutter video. But I just posted an end of year declutter that was kind of like a random declutter. And I did my high end eyeshadow palette declutter as well. So I also feel like I have a lot of like kind of like good empties, like things that are like I'm proud that I finished off in here. So I figured we would just do the empties to close out 2018 so if you're ready to see what I have used up and my thoughts on them why don't we go ahead and get started alrighty so jumping into it uh, I did finish off a foundation this is very rare I love trying out foundations I love buying new foundations I love it all so it's very not common for me to go through a foundation but the L'Oreal Pro Glow I used all the way up and I was getting down there and getting down there and I was like okay just a few uses left I mean I probably got 15 uses out of it when I had that thought. Seriously, it was crazy. But I like this foundation so much. I'm definitely going to miss it in my collection. If I didn't have so many other foundations, I would totally repurchase this. It's nice and affordable. I love the more dewy, like luminous look that it gives me because I do have a dry skin. So I think I'm especially going to miss it in the winter time. I like the coverage on it. I would highly recommend this foundation. Uh, but I have made a YouTube video in the past that was called like makeup I would purchase if I wasn't a YouTuber or something like that. But basically just saying how I have a larger collection and so many things that I'm trying and reviewing that you know there's products that I recommend and I would repurchase if I didn't have so many others in my collection and this one would definitely fall into that category but if I kind of get down there like on drugstore foundations and whatnot I would I would purchase that again just to have it again because I thought it was great uh, I'm also gonna say goodbye to my beauty blender this is the actual like beauty blender sponge in black. I've just had this for a very long time and I think that it's it's time to say goodbye. I've noticed that it's got a little a little hole in it, nothing too crazy, but it does have a little hole in it and I feel like every time now that I get it wet, it just something feels different about it for me. I'm not really sure how long you're supposed to keep sponges, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Uh, another item that I have here, this is from Sigma. This is the Sigmagic brush shampoo. So this is a, um, like a makeup brush cleaner. I love this. I think this is either like my second or third bottle that I've gone through. I think it's great for cleaning makeup brushes. I just put a little bit on the brush or onto my mat and boom, boom, boom. It's really quick, really quick to clean it. This is the regular one. They also have a foam one that I have and I enjoy that one just as much, but Sigma has a lot of great, um, items for cleaning your brushes, which is super important. Don't don't leave out cleaning your brushes, guys. It's super important to do that. Uh, I have some makeup wipes that I went through. These are just the brand that I purchased from CVS because I mostly just use these for swatches. Um, so I have those. One of my favorite makeup wipes for actually removing my makeup, though, is from Patchology. These are the Clean AF makeup wipes. I just repurchased these at Ulta Beauty. Uh, I got the three pack, and I'm super excited about that because this was the last pack, and I think that these are so good for removing makeup, and I don't even like to use makeup wipes anymore to take my makeup off. I typically am using like, um, like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm or something like that. These are so good, especially for nights where like you get home late, you get home play, you don't really want to go through your whole skincare routine or to travel to throw in your bag. These are bombs, so I already repurchased these from Ulta. So, of course, everything that I can that is still available and whatnot and relevant, I guess, will be linked in my description box. Another item from Pageology, this one is, I'm cheating a little because I have one more use out of this one, but I thought I would mention it. This is the Restoring Night Cloud Mask. So it looks like this, I just mentioned this in my skincare favorites video. I have, I think this is one use out of there. If I really scrape along, I think I can get one final use. I'll be using this tonight and then boom, we are done. But I really, really like this. I already do have another one. It was sent to me from Pageology, but I do really like this one. And I will definitely be bringing it back into my collection to use as a night cream because I think that one's really good. I have an eyeliner that I used up. This is from DHC. This is the liquid eyeliner. It's actually what I have on today and it was a struggle to get this on because she, she I mean, it's just, it's pretty dried out. So I kept having to go over, go over, go over. And typically with this one, when you first buy it, because this is like my fourth one that I've been through, seriously, maybe even more. When you first get it, it's very black. It's not hard to work with at all. I really like the applicator on it. This is my favorite style of applicator for liquid liners. And again, it's black, it's matte, it's long lasting. It is my favorite. I've mentioned this a lot on my channel. I really, really like it. I get mine off Amazon. 
I would highly recommend. I do have another one in my collection that I did purchase myself from Amazon and I think that it's great. I used up my Olay, what are these called? Oh, here, it's on the back. Nope, no it's not. These are like the daily cloths, daily cleansing cloths, I believe it is, the four-in-one cloths. So you just get like a pack like this and then it's just a bunch of dry little squares. can be used, they're great to take off makeup with, even like around the eye area. It's super gentle around the eye area. It's cleansing your face. I love these, especially for travel, to throw, you know, how, how many nights are you going to be gone? Three? You, you throw in three dry, small little squares into your bag. You get it wet. It foams up. You take them off. I think it's great. I think this is the second box that I've gone through, and I will repurchase these myself as well because I think that they are great. Again, another product that I've talked about a lot on my channel, and I recently went through those. I have a sheet mask in here. This is from Bliss. This is the Holographic Foil Sheet Mask. This says it's the hangover fix to replenish with electrolytes. And one day I was not feeling well and I was like, I should do a sheet mask. And I was looking through them and I saw the hangover fix and I said, that's the one I will wear today. Uh, I really liked it. I've, I'm have i newer to Bliss. I really like their, I mentioned them in my skincare video as well. Their It's Incredible Peel. Those are really nice and I've used them on a pretty consistent basis. Their sheet masks, I think this is only the second one I've used. I like it. I didn't have any sort of reactions to it or anything like that, but I can't really say like it's an absolute fave, but I did use this one. They're kind of like I think they say that they're holographic, but basically when you put it on, it just looks like you have tin, like a tin mask on your face. It's all fun and stuff. Uh, I did go through a shampoo. I know this is kind of random, but like I don't really go through shampoos a lot. I only wash my hair twice a week, so that's definitely a part of it. But I was just really proud of myself. And I actually really like this one too, so I thought I would mention it. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo. It says, daily care for dry, lifeless hair. I <laughs> mean hello. Uh, I really like this. I also have the conditioner with it as well and I still have that one in my shower. I think that this really helps with frizziness. I deal with a lot of um, frizzy hair quite often which is super annoying. I feel like when I use this my hair is just like smoother and like sleeker looking. I don't deal with as much frizz. It also makes my hair nice and soft but not too like not like too too soft where I can't actually manage it. But this is just kind of was always one of my staples in my shower because I like to test out different shampoos too. But this one was a, like a staple like if I needed to have nice hair I would go back to this shampoo because I knew it wouldn't play me. Just thought I'd mention that because I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I went through a concealer. See, I feel like I did pretty good in this empties video. Like, am I right? I went through the Urban Decay and Naked Skin Concealer. I knew that I've been getting down there for a while because I keep having to dip in. Like, to do one under eye, it's like literally like four or five times because I'm getting such a little product on there. I did use this one today and it was, it was just a struggle. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to call it on this one. So I used up the Urban Decay and Naked Skin Concealer. I did repurchase this one fairly recently. It was half off at Ulta and I knew that I was getting down there on this one. So I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and repurchase it. So this is in light neutral. This is my favorite concealer at the moment and it has been for quite some time. I think it's awesome. Great coverage, easy to blend out, more hydrating. I think it's bomb. Uh, I used up a mascara. This is from a Flower Beauty. This is the Warrior Mascara. This is one that I really like this mascara. Um, and I think I have repurchased this one myself. This is the second one I've gone through actually. And I just use it so much that I feel like I go through it very quickly. This is what the wand looks like. So it's kind of curved there in the middle. It does a lot for volume especially. And it's just a really nice mascara. But I've noticed the last couple of times using it, I've really been having to go back in and really apply a lot on my lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the warrior mascara but I think that it's a really good one I am finished with my NYX soft matte lip cream in London this is such a beautiful nude the NYX soft matte lip creams were one of like staple products for me a couple years ago I've purchased so many of these I've repurchased London so many times I, I don't even know how many times I've repurchased it I have another one in my collection I do feel like I go through these fairly quickly like especially when I was wearing them on a really consistent basis I would go through them very fast but yeah there's just like nothing in this one but she's a beautiful nude I really like this one I really like the formula they're not super expensive so I've recommended the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams a lot on my channel. I used up another liquid eyeliner. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Fly Liner. This was a 100 point perk at Sephora or a bonus offer, so it's a smaller size. Mmm, 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 mmm. I went to do my liquid liner the other day, and I want it kind of like more of like a bossy wing. And so I was like, I'm going to grab out the Fenty because I feel like I can just get that boss wing. And it was dried out, and I was like... No! And so I definitely, I want to repurchase this one. I think it's like $20 
for the full size and I'm definitely planning on grabbing another one from Sephora. Love the applicator. It's such a smooth eyeliner and it goes on so easily. I was actually uh, pretty hurt right in the heart when I realized that I couldn't get that like one last time out of it. So I will definitely grab the Fenty Fly Liner again. I used up from Drunk Elephant. This is the C from a Day Serum. I mentioned this in my winter skincare favorites video as well. I love this. I do have another one. It was sent to me from Drunk Elephant, but if it hadn't been, I would have gone ahead and repurchased it myself when I had some sort of discount at Sephora because Drunk Elephant is very pricey. But like I say, um, the products that I really enjoy from Drunk Elephant, I feel like are more of like their I want, to, I want to say like specialty products, but not like their cleansing gel, not their moisturizers, not their eye creams, but the vitamin C serum, the glycolic night serum, the baby facial, the marula oil. Those are my favorites from Drunk Elephant, and those are what I will repurchase and spend my own money on. So uh, I was pretty excited to see me get through the C from a day serum and that I have another one ready to go in my collection. Uh, I also used up from Drunk Elephant. Again, this is the Night Serum. So the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I love this stuff. It's great for resurfacing, for texture on the skin. Uh, these two especially, I feel like were pretty big game changers for me, especially when it did come to texture because I dealt with a lot of it before I started using these. I will be repurchasing another one for myself. Um, I did run out of this, of course, and I don't have a backup that was so kindly sent to me from Drunk Elephant like the Sea Firma, but that's okay because I will buy it myself. But like I said, I do want to have, you know, some sort of sale or coupon or gift card or something when I purchase it because this is $90 to repurchase. That's super expensive, uh, but I will do it myself. Um, so I did use up my night serum, which I was pretty proud of myself on that as well. I have another sheet mask in here. This is from Double Dare. It's the OMG Platinum Purple Facial Mask. These are really fun for Instagram. <laughs> They're colorful. You like peel them off. There's a bunch of steps you do, but I actually also think that these are good masks. I have know I've reviewed them on my channel in the past, maybe in like a past empties video, but they are actually really nice. They leave my skin really soft, and I feel like a lot of them do a lot for pores. I deal with larger pores, like especially right here um, on my face, and I feel like after I use these, I notice that they appear to have shrunk a bit, which is nice, so I used up that one. I also have in here, oh, I'm just calling this one. This was from... Soap and Glory. It's the Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel Creme. So it looks like this and has a pump. The pump basically stopped working after like two uses or something. I could no longer use the pump. So I'd always have to open it and pour it out that way. And I still have some product left, but honestly, I'm just super annoyed at having to do that. I have a new shower gel actually from Soap and Glory in my shower and it's more of like an exfoliating one and I really like it. And then I have one from Olay that's kind of more like moisturizing. So I like having that option. So I was like, you know what? I didn't really like that one. I wouldn't really recommend it, so we're just going to get rid of it. Okay, to keep it rolling, I have from Becca, this is the, let me tell you, the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It looks like this. I clearly have a lot left, but I'm just getting rid of this one. I threw it in my little trash can because it's not the same as it was when I got it. And I feel like I've seen people mention this one too because it's supposed to be more of like a almost kind of like wet like when you put it on you feel like you're applying like a wet powder even though it's dry and after like I don't know five six uses maybe seven at somewhere like less than ten I would say it's really become just like a dry powder and it doesn't perform the same way it did when I first purchased it and it just I feel like it makes me look a little bit more cakey and I just don't like it I, I will not be using this anymore I've heard a lot of people talk about the wear time with this or the longevity of this just not being there and I would totally agree with that so I decided just to get it out of my collection which I'm super bummed about because I thought it was a unique product but it's really I can't really use it anymore so bummer so we are getting down there I have a pair of lashes in here oh these poor little lashes these are from house of lashes these are in allure light um Aries got into my bag so she kind of tore up the packaging on them but these are in allure light and I love those lashes I actually just repurchased them from Alta as well I purchased in my Ulta order, lashes and makeup wipes. And a giveaway item, too, for my next giveaway. But those were the two things I purchased for myself. I was like, cool. So I love the House of Lashes Allure Lights. I also love the Iconic Lights. I've been wearing those a lot lately, and I did go ahead and repurchase the Allure Lights. I finished off the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is a mini of this guy. I get these from Sephora so much because I really do like this cleanser, um, and I like getting the little sample size. If it's ever like a bonus offer or 100 point perk, I'm typically always a snagging it up. Uh, Fresh actually just sent me the full size of it, and it was so funny. I was unboxing it on my Instagram stories, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never tried this cleanser. Like, so cool. Thank you, Fresh. 
And then like 10 minutes later, I was like, yes, you have. You've just always tried it in the small versions. I don't know what threw me off about the full size, but now I have the full size, which I'm very excited about because I do like it. It's nice and gentle. I have sensitive skin, so I feel like it's nice and gentle on my sensitive skin. So I do really like that one. Uh, I also have another Patchology mask in here. These are the Restoring Night Eye Gels. I put these on. I don't use them like every night or anything, maybe like once a week if I feel like I need them. Um, I'll put them on when I'm doing like my nighttime skincare routine and just leave them on for a few minutes and then boom. That's it, that's all you gotta do, so I like those. Uh, I also have in here, this is from Dermalogica, this is the pre-cleanse. So it looks like this, I believe I mentioned this in my skincare video because I love the pre-cleanse. I've gone through a small version of it and I've also gone through the full size and now I have another travel version in there too. Dermalogica is one of my favorite skincare brands. I really like a lot of products from them. The pre-cleanse takes everything off. It, um, it takes everything off. Glitter, liquid liner, lash adhesive, everything. It's taking it all off for your eyes and your face. So I really would recommend that. And then finally, I have from Drunk Elephant. This is the Best Day Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I don't mind this cleanser. I do have another one in my collection that was sent to me from Drunk Elephant, but I wouldn't repurchase it myself. Again, what I was saying earlier with Drunk Elephant and the products that I want to repurchase, I just don't feel like the cleanser is anything like so great and wonderful that I need to spend the extra drunk elephant money on that kind of product. You know, I really like the pre-cleanse. I like those Pageology makeup wipes that I just showed you. Um, there's the Ula Hendrickson um, balm. I really like that one. That was mentioned in my skincare video. So this just isn't an, act an absolute favorite of mine. I like it and I think that it works. I don't think it takes my eye makeup off the, the best. I generally feel like when I use this one, I have to come in with an eye makeup remover specifically to be able to remove everything. But I don't mind it. I just, I wouldn't repurchase it myself. Uh, but after that, we have an empty trash can once again. And that is going to wrap it up for my final empties video of 2018. I feel like I did pretty good. I feel like there's a lot of both makeup and skincare products that I finished off that I'm pretty proud of myself with that. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the empties and getting my thoughts on everything and what I would repurchase and what I would recommend. So I hope that you find these helpful. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.